Home to polar bears, the midnight sun and northern lights, the Savalbard archipelago, which is perched high in the Arctic, is trying to find a way to profit from its pristine wilderness in a sustainable manner. Our next report, getting you the complete story. The Arctic, an ocean of ice, clean air and azure blue skies, boasting of a pristine environment and it's the ideal venue for a dream vacation. But with the influx of tourists, there is also the fear of sullying the region. This is Svalbard archipelago, where local mines have closed one after the other over the years. And now tourism has become one of the main pillars of the local economy. According to pre-pandemic data, around 140,000 people visit the islands each year, where 65% of the land is protected, like the 3,000 local residents of the island. Visitors are asked to follow strict rules that bar them from disturbing the local ecosystem. We are really facing nature here. There are not so many places like this anymore. It attracts people like every other rare place. But it is fragile as well, so one should visit it respectfully. Located 1300 kilometers from the North Pole and reachable by the commercial airline flights, the Svalbard archipelago offers vast expanses of untouched nature. But the islands are now on the front line of climate change, with the Arctic warming three times faster than the planet. The tourist industry themselves in Svalbard want to uh, have sustainable uh, industry and they uh, develop themselves into more sustainable uh, activities. Um, but I think we are on the limit of um, uh, of how many tourists we can cope with. Ultra-polluting heavy fuel, commonly used by large cruise ships, has been banned in the archipelago since the start of the year. This came ahead of a ban that is to be progressively implemented across the Arctic as of 2024. The really big problem is, is the transport to and from Svalbard, uh, both in tourism but also us as locals that live here. We have uh, a climate footprint uh, per capita in Longyearbyen that is insane. But the electrification efforts in the archipelago are not entirely sustainable, as electricity comes from a coal plant, which being a fossil energy source contributes to global warming. And now there are plans to shift to more greener forms of energy production. And we even have a, a coal power plant, so it's a huge paradox for us to to sort of know that, okay, whatever do we do locally on a, on a business to business level, it, it sort of is just a little drop in, in the big sea because the bigger issues are, are transport and um, the making of energy. Most people come to this archipelago by plane from around the world, which significantly contributes to the carbon footprint of the area, despite efforts to make the tourism industry greener. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.